So, um, I'm not going to stick the camera in you guys' face the whole time. I'm going to just do my audio, but uh, but I'll get my just be and stuff like that. Cool. All right. Sounds perfect. That is a really cool shirt. Thank you. Uh, shout out to my man Kev from uh, Canada. This is actually his shirt. Marvel Legends. It's awesome. For collectors, by collectors. Uh, link will be in the description below for you guys to check out the shirt. So that was truly an unscripted moment right there. I didn't even realize uh, Al was recording yet, and I didn't plan on really doing video anyway. I just wanted to get audio, but Dwight really did dig this shirt. So shout out to my man, Kevin, who sent this shirt out to me before Comic-Con. Uh, just as some promotion for the company, I really dig this shirt, and I wanted to purchase one before Comic-Con, but it just kind of worked out where he sent it out to me. And, um, and yeah, man, a lot of people were commenting on this shirt. So uh, Kev has a collector-based uh, company out of Canada. The tagline is, wear what you collect, collect what you wear. Uh, again, they're based in Toronto, and it's uh, Toying Around X Hype Faction is the name of the brand. And uh, like I said, a link will be in the description below for you to pre-order uh, the shirt that I was rocking, which was the Sentinel uh, design. Uh, but they're also going to have the Devourer of Worlds uh, design up for pre-order as well. So I've been interested in doing some shirts that were really uh, collector themed and toy photographer themed for a while. Uh, but I just <laughs> haven't gotten around to it. So uh, the next best thing I can do is support somebody doing it and doing it well. So uh, like I said, a link will be in the description below. And let's move forward. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you from San Diego Comic Con 2019. I'm here with Dwight, Tony, Ryan. Uh, thanks, guys, for having us. Thank you for inviting me to the breakfast. It was awesome. Uh, this year's panel was probably the best that you guys had, I think, of all time. So you guys are doing a wonderful job with Marvel Legends. Um, but let's get down to brass tacks. All right? so, <laughs> great. Let's see how quick this turns. <laughs> Uh, so the Disney Fox deal is done. Uh, what does that mean for Marvel Legends as far as greed and control and what you guys can and cannot do? I mean, not a lot has changed in terms of what we've already been doing. We've been doing a lot of comic um, X-Men, I think. When, uh, if and when those properties get rolled into Kevin Feige's Grandmaster plan, then we will ensure to release products. Okay. Mark 85 Iron Man, is that new buck, a new buck for him? That is an entirely new figure, yes. Uh, battle damage, Tony Stark can't maybe uh, pack him with him? Uh, that's a, that's something that we missed, honestly. Uh, we we knew that you know every armor has the Tony head. We just missed that at this point in time. Um, but we did not know about the Infinity Gauntlet for Iron Man, so there's no plans for that today. But you know, you know us. I can guarantee. I can even without a plan, I can guarantee at some point in the future we'll get to, around to doing a Mark 85 with Infinity Gauntlet. We're, we're gonna use that body again. again. All right, so yeah. we're definitely not gonna see a snapping Tony hand or anything packed in with them, right? Correct. Not this we didn't, we didn't know about it. If we knew, we would have uh, definitely thrown it in. That was a uh, that was such a secret spoiler that Marvel did not share that with uh, any of us. So. Got you. Any plans for maybe a whole of armor sort of set, maybe like that uh, Figure Watch does for Legends with Tony Stark? That's cool. Do you, do you think they'd want to see it? I mean, that'd be a higher price point item. I think so. Maybe a candidate for like HasLab or something. Uh, in the okay, future. we're gonna get back to HasLab. Uh, <laughs> the Union Jack body. Why did you guys switch that up? Switch it out from the one with the uh, the butterfly joints? We just weren't paying attention, uh, and we painted the wrong thing. Okay, uh, just it was, it was an honest it was it was an honest, it was an honest mistake moving a little bit too and, fast. And I think we actually had painted it on. Uh, Bucky at first, and then when we got the EPs in, I think they just ran it on the wrong body, and then we made the switch back again. So. Just so you guys know, flip -flop, flip -flop, people yeah. really want to see more of those uh, bucks utilized with the butterfly joints, bullseye, stuff like that. So okay. It was always Bucky Cap. Uh, we had uh, sample early samples come in from our partners in um, China, and uh, they had done it on the wrong thing, uh, that, that bullseye body, uh, so we switched back to the original plan. Okay, so the single carded Hulk is here at the show right now. It's pretty much the same buck as the one that was packed in with the two pack with Wolverine, right? Yes. Just a different color scheme and a different head, right? Yeah, a Del Keown inspired head for Comic Con, a more uh -huh. modern take uh, and, and a more modern, more nineties ish era for the time of the cards. Are you guys going to dive deeper into Hulk and maybe explore some things like Toy Biz did with utilizing a couple different bucks for Hulk and different type of we Hulks? We would never maybe? do a reject. <laughs> <laughs> 
But that the Comic Con exclusive comes with the thing that uh, Tony and I have been saying the most highly desired accessory yeah, of I all get, time. I get asked for it every convention. Yeah. The crush pipe. The crush pipe. Um, so. May- <laughs> Maybe a uh, Red Hulk down the line. We need That's Red it. Hulk. We need Scar. We need uh, Maestro. There's lots of other Red uh, Hulk Mr. and uh, Fixit, uh, uh, you know. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna mention Mr. Fixit maybe on the Kingpin Buck or something like that. Red Hulk's Ross uh, two pack. Ooh. All right. So some big reveals at the panel this year. Uh, the Giant Man. Can you talk about that? I know you spoke about it on the panel as far as the differences from the footwear. I guess it was. Yeah. What was it? There was a uh, the uh, in the uh, principal photography. Uh, the actor didn't have the it was like the stunt whatever guy mm-hmm. didn't have the toe flaps tucked up into the shin of the costume so when we saw the reference it had this uh, piece of fabric uh, flop like a tongue of a shoe mm-hmm. uh, with the shoelaces undone gotcha um, and we just thought that you know well that's the reference we got that must be right so that's what we sculpted and then we saw that it wasn't in the film that was just a not fully you know zipped up costume and we're like ah oh, and jesse was like can we fix that and we we're like not at that time but now when we got a chance to revisit it we were able to fix that and uh we were able to update the deco to be that much much shinier armor because the original one looked kind of uh, yeah it was a little muddy. Dumb. yeah and uh this one and when we saw the actual movie it was very very uh, shiny silver okay um as far as that it's going to be single carded it's going to be one big figure in a single pack you guys thinking about exploring other big figures single carded like that uh, I think so. I mean, there's different ways to look at big figures. Uh, Archangel was in a similar type packaging uh, a year ago, and that was, you know, a normal size figure. We were able to offer that giant uh, set of wings uh, for today's uh, fans. So, so I think it depends too, just like, because we had fun with the pack out. You see, he's kind mm-hmm. of scrunched in there. I think yes. it works well for that character. Maybe not for all the big characters we have, but. Um, yeah, if there's another good opportunity to put out a character who people might have missed the first time around, a bigger one, mm-hmm. all together, then we'll look at it. So maybe a classic Giant Man at some point. Just putting that out there. Um, uh, figure swapping. So that's kind of nasty at retail right now. Did you guys put that uh, clear sort of overlay in the packages because of that? Or is there anything that you guys want to do to kind of stop that happening at retail? Yeah, I mean, we, we hear those complaints. I kind of share in the, the frustration. So we're looking at other variety of options to you know, help with that in the future. Are you guys done with the Netflix characters? Um, now that this whole Disney streaming channel is, is out, are you guys going to kind of piggyback onto that and maybe give us more characters from that sort of TV-verse now? No plans to do any more Netflix? Are there still characters that you guys would like to see? Well, I think people want to see Blade done again. I guess they just announced that uh, Moshala Ali is going to be Blade, so maybe we'll get another comic Blade or TV series Blade at some point. Yeah. Putting it out there. Yeah, that's a personal favorite of mine. Uh, I've been asking to get more Blades in line, uh, I don't know, weekly, monthly? (laughs) Pretty much. Uh, So I'm I'm trying my best to get uh, one of those out to you. All right, Cosmic Ghost Rider. When can we expect that? That is spring 2020. And um, the Squirrel Girl is around the same time? Yes, yep, they're same as Sword. Similar, yeah, kind of like how Deadpool and Professor X were this year. Can you just uh, explain Cosmic Ghost Rider a little bit, like the things that he's uh, packed in with, like you did to me the other day, it's just for the people at home, obviously. Yeah, no, um, he's got a massive uh, cycle, probably one of the biggest vehicles we've done so far. It has a flight stand that allows it to float uh, above your collection, which mm-hmm. is really cool. It has uh, holsters on both sides of the bike. He comes with two new space pistols and blast effects that can stick stick over the muscles of his guns. I believe he has his chain. And then, of course, the uh, Cosmic Rider himself, which is a uh, mostly new sculpt, uh, all new deco, with a a flaming skull head trapped inside of a a space helmet. helmet. All right. Um, uh, I I basically sourced some questions on one of my videos from my subscribers. One of the questions that came up a lot was a rider's Punisher, Punisher van, some way that you could guys could uh, figure that out, just putting it out there. Uh, strong guy, that is, I can assume that's a builder figure, right? Are we saying that? Yeah, we can say that. I mean, it's right. pretty obvious. And he's, yeah. he's brand guess. new, everything brand new, right? He's a yes. builder figure. You think we're going to see him today? I know you guys usually put one thing out on Sunday. No, unfortunately, uh, the prototype wasn't uh, ready yet. Uh, was a digital image that you guys got gotcha. you so okay that was, it was a super rush because of this gentleman right here he's like we've got to show it this summer yeah, so are we going to see the rest of the teammates with those matching costumes i know we're going to see polaris and um havoc are we going to see more 90s 
Um, that's the dream. Uh, we want to get. Uh, we want to. We hear the fan response of finishing up teams, and uh, that's something we want to get to. So, and just personally, we all want to do that as well. All right, you guys unveiled Vulture, a classic Vulture. That's something that people have been asking for a lot. I think it looks great. Uh, any plans to revisit Electro to give us a classic Electro? We got that head, but we didn't get the full-on uh, character. The last one for the. Truly, truly classic. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> we're, all, we're almost there. Uh, That'll be your next stamp for next yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. You know, like for that one, and then we're all done. Yeah. <laughs> um, how about regular arms for um, Sandman? Oh, I thought you were gonna say someone else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're gonna get to that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we could we could look at doing that. I mean, that could be another great candidate for like the giant man type of uh, project, right? So you know, with and without yeah, pieces another, and stuff like that. Yeah. So it looks like you guys synced up really well with the cinematic universe as far as still putting out comic based characters within the cinematic universe and tying things up, linking them up. You putting out Vulture. I'm assuming that you're going to go Sinister Six at some point. Um, are we to assume that you guys already know what's happening in the MCU as far as that's gonna gonna play out? I don't want you to tell me anything, but <laughs> we only know as far as now I can actually say names that I couldn't say up until today. Yeah. We actually we know um, uh, a good deal about Black Widow and Eternals because of uh, our okay. wonderful partners at Disney, uh, and we know um, bits and pieces about uh, the Disney, not all, but many of the Disney Plus shows that were announced. So we're very excited about all of that stuff and can't wait to figure out how we want to tackle it. Uh, Shang-Chi looks great. I love the way he looks. Uh, it's some new stuff you said there, right? New arms. Um, yep. Does he have a tattoo on his back? Uh, he does not have a tattoo on okay. his back. Uh, Weapon X, Wolverine, Nate Ray. Um, the head scope for Weapon X. Who did that? Head scope for Weapon X. Uh, the, I mean the AOA Wolverine. Excuse me. I would have to look into that. Um, I work, we, we have a we have a sculpting division at Hasbro, and I work with them. But they work with many wonderful, talented artists internally and externally. I don't know the names of the particular people, but it was inspired by the uh, uh, Kubert, uh, cover. Is what we were. Uh, we off of. we saw the uh, suits uh, two pack. Maybe we're going to see Mister Negative or Suited Iron Fist. Just putting it out there. Cool. Spider Verse, Spider Man. Those are new bucks. The skins that you're putting out for that. Yes, for him. Yes. Uh, why those though? What, uh, is it any plans to explore more, uh, I guess, more fan favorites from the game? I think it's just the video games themselves are, you know, it's been a long time since Marvel's been pumping out games uh, like that, right? They, they would they would tie in a game to a movie, mm -hmm. you know, but they have, I think this is the first one in a long time, that they actually built a game around a platform and an engine to deliver an experience of Spider-Man. And it was amazing, you know, right? So many people played that game. Uh, it's one of the, you know... It's it's a it's it's wonderful games, you know. So Cannonball's legs, um, are we gonna get them? I guess Cannonball's legs. I made a big deal about it in one of my videos. That's like my my uh, equivalent to Shardimus's big time let down Spider Man. So are we gonna see Cannonball's legs Six at some years, point? We'll, we'll give you we'll give right. you another Six years. Six we'll years. Give, right. Six years in the front row. I'll be in my we'll late forties or something, and then we'll we'll get the legs. All right, but uh, I know people definitely want to see that nineties uh, uh, X Force crew completed. Are we going to get a new Warpath updated at some point? Be good. We'd like to get them out there, yeah. We definitely would like to get them out. All right, wrapping up here, Just, I guess I'll just go over stuff that people were asking about, just putting it out there for you, all right? So, Surf the Capes, uh, maybe an accessory pack that you guys could put out, various swappable heads in those accessory packs, a new Mojo, new Modoc, uh, classic Brotherhood, a new Toad, uh, maybe an updated Blob. I think Blob was probably one of the best builder figures that you guys did still anyway. Agreed. Still holds up to this day, but... Um, uh, Boar, the God Butcher, I think somebody asked for M Mephisto, Super Friends, Firestar. We, I asked about that uh, in uh, New York. Uh, Champion of the Universe, yes. Ultimates <laughs> updated Captain Marvel, Blue Marvel maybe, but that new Ultimates team, I think people want to see that. Uh, Lockjaw, um, a complete Annihilators, and me personally, I want to see Josh Whedon's uh, X Men team complete. So, an Astonishing Wolverine. Uh, cat head beast and another personal request for me cat head beast. that was like years ago <laughs> and we can't even get that head off to try to pop it onto something else but uh, another personal thing for me nimrod sentinels i've talked about this before but if you guys were to do uh, a nimrod sentinel and maybe put it in a way where every individual figure was an army builder and the builder figure was an army builder 
That would be pretty right. cool, right? That's gold. I like that. Uh, and HasLab, Quinjet, or XJet, all right? Cool. All right. All right. Thanks, Thank buddy. you, guys. Got Appreciate you, guys. Good to see you, guys. Thank you very much. Signing out. Peace. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to everything, but I tried. Look at me. I missed a few things. I try to get everything. Sorry, guys. I didn't get to your question, but I got most of it. I did. I had like four more bullet points down the line, guys. Next time, next time. In New York, Toy Fair. Go get it. Luke, you good, bro? <laughs> All right, so just a couple things to note here, casually, just laid back at the end of this. Um, first of all, I had to, this would have been out yesterday or last night, um, but I lost all of the footage and had to start over. Something was, was wrong. I had uh, some space problems here on the Mac and I had to start over, so that frustrated the hell out of me and I ended up doing most of it last night, redoing most of it last night, and then I uh, and then I got up this morning to finish up. But um, there's one point early on where there's a significant difference in the uh, in the audio and the sound because I was going off of just uh, Al's audio. He was he was uh, not that close to the group, and um, and uh, and then I switched it over to my audio, which I was recording off of my phone, which was better because I was obviously right there with them. And um, I had forgot that I wasn't recording on my phone at first, so that's when my audio switched in. And then at some point uh, towards the end, the uh, the PR rep had told me to kind of wrap it up. She had said like one more question, and then I had like signaled to her that I had two more minutes <laughs> because I was timing it, and we were supposed to get ten minutes. You know, I um, I had everything written down and how I wanted to go through it, but uh, they were taking kind of long on some of the. Um, on some of the questions and I couldn't move through everything as quickly as I would have liked. Um, but just to, to backtrack and tell you guys some of the things that uh, I didn't go over because I absolutely went through every question on my video where I asked you guys to put, put questions in and, um, and I definitely uh, put together what I thought was a really good uh, interview here. But uh, I skipped over She-Hulk um, I had here She-Hulk revealed that the show looks great, larger than the A-Force box set version, better articulation it seems. Can you explain? I wanted him to go into detail on that. And uh, I was saying that I do think people would like to see a an A-Force version of some suited or some suited version revisited as the box set's articulation left a lot to be desired. Are you guys still looking at the Jaina Solo body? <laughs> I wanted them to, uh, to look at that uh, or to talk about that. And then I had the people want more articulation abs. There's a lot of comparisons to the Power Rangers line and no scopes and articulation. Uh, any sharing between legends and rangers in terms of engineering plan. And then the strong guy question, which I did get into. And Vulture, which I talked about. I kind of screwed that up a little bit, though. Uh, looks like the past few years, figures were really aligned perfectly with what went on in the MCU. I was basically trying to get to... Uh, the fact that they were in sync with the movies, but they were giving us comic-based characters off of some of those movies as well. So I was thinking about trying to get him to talk about the next year and things that they might be doing that were comic-based. Uh, Shang-Chi movie, you guys have revealed Shang-Chi figure. Um, and then I asked about the tattoo on the back. I did get to that. Uh, Solid had asked me about that. Uh, Weapon X Wolverine I talked about. And uh, X-Men 3-pack is one of the things that I didn't get to. I didn't get to the morph head. I had uh, another layered question uh, with the X-Men 3-pack, and I wanted to ask them if they would maybe be packing in a 90s cartoon morph head with the uh, morph that we're going to get. I wanted to ask them why there was no eye beam for Cyclops, and I wanted to talk about that jacket uh, from Cyclops because it looks like they borrowed a uh, customizer's recipe for the jacket. Uh, for Cyclops in that three in the three pack, uh, I was gonna note that the bone claws were a nice touch. Um, I wanted to know where Havoc and Polaris were gonna be released through what store. I didn't get to my X Force uh, Deathlock question. Uh, I wanted to know if that was gonna be a Walgreens exclusive. That was one thing that I actually um, predicted that we all predicted on the podcast that it would be an X Force version. I wanted to ask them more about 
X Force um, and asked them about Wolverine's claws from the Wendigo wave and what was the deal with that, whose idea was that. Uh, the Suits box set, I did talk about that. I asked about the Mr. Negative. I said a suited um, Iron Fist, but I meant to say a suited uh, Moon Knight. And then Spider-Verse, I did get to talk about those Spider-Mans and why the hell did they pick that. I did not get to get to um, asking them about um, a Norman Osborn, a Green Goblin and a Norman Osborn head. And then I was going to get into Peter Parker and ask them, would we, would we be getting a Peter Parker? I wanted to ask them if the 12 inch line was done. I did get to Cannonball's legs. They didn't give me a real answer. I talked about Warpath, uh, Anti-Venom, Cowboy, Wolverine, Big Time Spider-Man. I wasn't sure about those. I wanted to know if those were Wolverine's releases. That Wolverine looks really, really good. Um, Super Scroll, I wanted to ask about that, if that was going to be a Walgreens exclusive. They didn't mention that at all. Uh, the Vintage Wave Storm, I wanted to ask about her buck. It looks like they revisited the old like Moonstone buck for her. I wasn't sure about that. Um, and I said I like the idea of the three uh, New Mutants ladies offered in one pack. It's crafty, uh, but with, what's with Danny's boots? They didn't give her the boots with the little frillies on it, so I was going to ask about that. Uh, 80th Anniversary Comics uh, Big 3 looks great. Trinity 3 pack maybe for the MCU Big 3. I was going to ask about that. Uh, more classic Iron Man armors coming. Um, Bro Thor build a figure wave. I wanted to talk about that. Are you going to continue uh, separate? This was actually a question from Todd. I wanted to know if they were going to continue to separate the movie waves and the comic waves because that Bro Thor wave is all movie figures. And if they would continue to do that in the future so the MCU fans can do their thing and the comic purists can, can pass if they want to. Uh, Doom, I was going to say I was really impressed with Doom and get them to tell me a little bit more about that. I got to check my time here. Hold on. All right, I'm at six minutes of talking. Well, all right, so, um, and I have, uh, and then my final thing before I got into my wants was um, I had here, I have a, uh, been a huge advocate for the toy photographer display artist community since day one. I was that guy put it, uh, uh, shouting and putting ACBA on the map in, in your first New York Comic Con visit, and you guys never came, never came back to New York Comic Con after that. Uh, but Marvel Le Marvel Legends is the reason that ACBA uh, exists. So it's good to see you guys embracing that community and really catering to it to us. I uh, see that you guys see that we are basically free uh, free promotional tool for the line. I love seeing you guys highlight different artists through the Hasbro Toy Pick uh, tag. Is marketing to kids with the Marvel Legends line done? Is this the age of the adult collector? Any deeper plans for working with community members, not just photos, uh, maybe customizers for a specific pro uh, project? So, yeah, I'm going to keep, keep these questions. And like I said, New York Comic Con is around the corner. I said Toy Fair, but Comic Con is up first in October. And I will get to these questions, no question about it. But thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. That's crispy.